Welcome back. You're watching the market check. Market continues to be up in the green, and we are seeing some bit of stability as well coming out there. Uh, the levels around 8170 at least for the moment. Nifty up 23 odd points. Sensex 2 is also higher by over 100 points as we speak, and uh, very firm uh, above 27,000 level. Talking about the key stocks that we are watching out for today, NIIT is one stock which is clearly buzzing in trade. The news uh, has come in that uh, the company has announced the launch of NIIT. TV, which is an internet TV portal that brings skilling from NIT classroom uh, to digital. So courses that the NIT really takes care of, they will be available online. To get more details and the rationale behind this particular launch, we are now joined by uh, Mr. Rahul Patwardhan, CEO at NIIT Limited. Thank you very much, Mr. Patwardhan, for being with us here on NDTV Profit. Good to have you on the show today. Uh, so tell us, uh, give us more details about you know the rationale behind launch launching NIIT.TV, uh, an online portal at a time when you have classroom learning groups. I mean, won't it really, uh, in a way, contradict with the way you do your business at this point in time, or is it just an extension? Yeah. Uh, good morning, Hina. Uh, good question. Uh, NIIT today is the largest private sector skill and training organization. Uh, we have 300 centers of our, of our business partners, we have 50 centers of our own, and then we have uh, operation, operations in a few thousand schools. Uh, all in all, today, maybe 25,000 classrooms are active somewhere in India at this moment uh, where courses are being conducted either by an IIT faculty or using an IIT courseware. But if you look at the number of people we reach, it's a very small microcosm of the total demand potential for skills and professional skills and career training in India. Uh, NIIT.TV is NIIT's approach to widen the market base so that we can reach 100 million, 200 million, 300 million Indians as against the paltry 3 to 5 million that we are able to reach uh, through our physical classrooms. So it's a market expansion uh, strategic objective, number one. Number two, it also recognizes the fact that there's a Skill India objective, uh, and uh, this will play into serving that in a scaled up model. It also uh, uh, focuses on the fact that the average Indian citizen uh, is unable to access high quality skill training, whether from NIIT or from anybody else, for four or five constraints. First constraint, there is no good skill training center near them, uh, physical. Second constraint is of time. Maybe they're working or they're in college or in school, and the, when a good course is available, uh, they aren't able to go and do that course. Uh, third, they may not have the funds to be able to pay the fees for a course in the sector. And fourth, they may have a language uh, challenge because the courses that are often being run, at, at least by NIT, are all being run in English currently in the classroom. So this liberates the Indian citizen in being able to access high quality skill training wherever they are through a computer or a tablet or a, or a smartphone. What it also ensures is that they are not forced to go and make a choice for the only option that might be available locally to them which might be a poor quality course at a very low price. Tell us more about the financials. Uh, we understand that probably with this uh, initiative, you're trying to be a part of the digital India boom probably that the government is really focusing on at this point in time. Uh, tell us some, give us some details in terms of financials, I mean, in terms of revenues, what are your calculations? How is this initiative looking to help the company uh, you know, in boosting its revenues going forward? Okay. Uh, the first thing I would like to say is that it may be more coincidental than otherwise that we are trying to be part of the Digital India move. Uh, I think it's a business decision. Uh, we currently cater to a few million people in a population of 1.2 billion. We want to have a platform which allows us to address a few hundred million and not just a few million. So that's it's a very hardcore business-driven objective. Having said that, we're starting by adopting a model where we make available things that we are already doing in all our 25,000 classrooms all over India. So, for example, before yesterday, 
There were people sitting in studios conducting Java courses or any of the courses that are available on our pla NIT.TV platform today. They were just getting beamed only into our own classrooms. Today they're now available to everybody around India. Monetization will come, but first step is we'll create a much larger pool of people who will taste and sample the NIT product, who will then be seeking additional services. So for example, somebody who registered yesterday for a Java course on NIT.TV, they can do the course, they can learn the skills, but if they want placement services or they want a formal certification of performance, they will have to come to a testing center of NIT or access NIT placement services, which will be value-added services, and there will be many more value-added services as we go along. What we clearly understand, what we understand is probably that this will help somebody who wants to learn at this point in time. But of course, if you need certification, you need to reach out to an NIIT center. Does this mean that you will be expanding your centers as well all across the country? A very quick answer to that, then we'll slip into a break and come back to the discussion. Yeah, we are going to remain very much a blended player. Uh, we believe that in the space of professional and career skills training, a blended offer is the offer that will work and therefore it's a combination of digital platform based services and physical services at physical locations that will serve the need of a large majority of customers who are looking for professional skills. That's not going to change for some time to come. Mr. Patwardhan, we are slipping into a quick break. Uh, I request you to please stay with us and we'll come back and join. We'll continue this discussion and get more details as to what other things are happening in the company. We're slipping into a quick break. Stay with us. We'll continue this discussion. Let's